Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. The Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade. How do you feel? Regardless of your position on this event, the MOD team would like to remind everyone we expect civil discussion and will be issuing bans for violations of the rules. I grew up in the Bible Belt and overturning Roe v. Wade was one of the most prominent talking points from politicians campaigning in the area. The dog caught the car. I didn't think it would happen. What will they run on now? I'm kind of afraid to find out. Getting rid of gay marriage is next up on the chopping block. Edit, to all those saying no, gay marriage was made legal by Obergief L. V. Hodges. If they can overturn Roe v. Wade, what makes you think this won't be overturned? Edit again again, from you forward slash guitar Joda statement from Thomas, removed majority as it was just Thomas. It's literally in the official statement. The concurring opinion by Justice Thomas says in the future the court should also reconsider rulings that protected contraception, same-sex relationships, and same-sex marriage. My ass is scared. Clarence Thomas already stated it gay rights are next on the chopping block. What a disgrace the Supreme Court is. More than that. Clarence Thomas just filed a concurring opinion to Dobbs calling for the court to consider overturning the right to contraception, same-sex marriage and privacy in the bedroom. Because nothing threatens society as much as women in the workplace and homosexuals doing things in the privacy of their own bedrooms. What year is this again? Thomas in his concurring opinion says the court should reconsider Griswold, Lawrence, and Obergefell, the rulings that now protect contraception, same-sex relationships, and same-sex marriage. Yet he won't go after interracial marriage cause his white wife what a fucking hypocrite. Our fertility doctor has informed us that he will no longer provide services to me and my wife given the higher chance of needing a medically necessary abortion. Any stillbe child would now legally be required to be carried to full term. This is far too dangerous for my wife's health in his medical opinion. So intense rage is how I'm feeling. Oh my. I'm so incredibly sorry, and I'm livid for you and your wife. The SC took your chances of having a baby away. My god. I'm crying even more tears of anger now. If you're able, I would encourage you to reach out to a major newspaper to share your story. Don't listen to the it won't matter people. These are things people need to hear. You're not going to reach most of the 35% that are happy right now, but you can sway some people to think about the consequences. Not just for fertility treatment but as a reminder for any women that doctors can't save them from stillbosepsis in some states. Every story reaches someone. This is a way to fight back, even if it's not huge in your mind. This year in Missouri, they tried passing a law that would make aborting ectopic pregnancies illegal through medication. This would kill women, and it would not save any lives. I fear having daughters for their sake. Edit for the source and to clarify. Source, Missouri House Bill No. 2810. The bill specifically targeted abortion-inducing drugs, medication, and equipment. Line 15 contains their stance on ectopic pregnancies. Also, I should clarify that I am not from Missouri. However, I have suffered through a very messy miscarriage, so this news resonated with me. I do not want to hijack the experiences of Missouri women. This is what people don't understand. There are people that think a fetus can be relocated to the uterus in an ectopic pregnancy. It can't. It will kill you. There are people that don't understand that a miscarriage can begin but not fully finish. This requires medical intervention that is classified as a abortion. If you don't do it it will kill you. Have you ever heard of anencephaly? That baby can't live. Continuing the pregnancy puts the mother's life in danger. We can't make them understand. Because pro-lifers are just two groups. Emotional people who don't or can't grasp the ramifications of their actions. The powerful who don't care and it's just about keeping women down and producing more slave wages forward slash soldiers. In 2018, Ohio GOP has introduced a bill that required the implantatio of ectopic pregnancies. HTTPS www.legislature.ohio.gov forward slash legislation. C. Takes all possible steps to preserve the life of the unborn child, while preserving the life of the woman. Such steps. Include, if applicable, attempting to re-implant an ectopic pregnancy into the woman's uterus. These regressive pricks aren't just dangerous, they're ignorant morons. 
For those unfamiliar with ectopic pregnancies it is extremely important to note that it is not medically possible to save the fetus in an ectopic pregnancy. Based on one line in a decades-old medical journal the Ohio GOP introduced a law that would force women to put miscarried fetuses that would ultimately kill them back into their womb. So never mind that the technology doesn't exist and is an enormously traumatic and bleeding risk for the patient who would pay for this shit. We can't get insulin for diabetics or inhalers for asthmatics in America so who is going to shell out a couple $100,000 for each ectopic pregnancy to be monitored, surgically corrected, monitored, then since it'll die anyway, treatment of the woman for possible sepsis or infertility after the trauma to her body. I had an ectopic pregnancy last June. I'd started bleeding internally and would have died quickly without surgery. My ex-wife and I went through two of these as we were trying to have a child. She almost died on the second one. I remember sitting in the waiting room where the surgeon informed me that they almost lost her as she lost damn near half the blood in her body. Thankfully she recovered and we did have our son. But make no mistake this will kill women. Glad you made it but sorry you had to go through it. I think this a death blow to the legitimacy of the Supreme Court. The majority of Americans support abortion rights, now that Roe has been overturned. There is no argument that the Supreme Court isn't a purely political institution. Now there's nothing preventing presidents from stacking the court or just deciding not to enforce their orders. Edit, wanted to address a lot of the people in the replies taking issue with the part of my comment talking about the Supreme Court going against the majority of people. I agree that the court's job is not to side with the majority, that would be mob rule. In this particular case, they're going against the majority to remove a protected right. I understand the need for the court to go against the majority to preserve people's rights, but I don't like the idea of the court removing people's rights. I am not a leftist or a pro-choice activist, but I believe in preserving and gaining as many rights as possible for all people, even the ones I don't like and the ones that don't affect me. I hope more people can move past ideological fighting and simply fight for the side of more rights for everyone, whether it's viewed as a left right or a right right. Right. Just yesterday they ruled that states cannot regulate guns and today they rule that states can regulate abortion. FFS. Edit to say, to all the people saying one is constitutionally protected, it's protected as a well-regulated militia and abortion is indirectly related as a right to privacy. I'd also like to point out that this is dialing back 50 years of precedent which is settled law and used as an example or guide. Ruling against precedent is highly unusual. Small government in action. I'm not an American so maybe I just don't understand how your system works, but shouldn't the courts just be interpreting the laws and isn't it up to the other parts of your government to pass the laws people want? As I understand it the court is saying they don't think you have a right to privacy in your constitution, and it was that right to privacy that was preventing states from banning abortions. If whether or not your constitution gives you a right to privacy is so important, and the existing laws so unclear, isn't the proper solution changing your constitution or passing laws or whatever so that the right is clearly stated? Yes, this is 100% correct. Every Supreme Court decision is almost by definition a weak point in the law that should be fixed by the legislature. Our legislature has had 50 years to pass legislation adding the Roe decision to law, or adding privacy and bodily autonomy to the constitution, but they didn't. It's really hard for me to be mad at the Supreme Court when we've had more than a generation of legislators all collectively decide to leave this up to our Council of Elders not changing their minds. Edit, I can't reply to everyone so a couple points of clarification. Absolutely be mad at the SC, I know I am, but understand that the real problem is the people who hired them for exactly this purpose and who ignored and continue to ignore the will of the people. Calls to disband or reform the court, while well-meaning and persuasive, are a temporary solution at best and won't address the root of the problem. For anyone commenting the SC would just overturn anything the legislature passed the Supreme Court has no power to overturn a constitutional amendment. Their entire purpose is interpreting and applying the constitution, they can't change it. No abortion, no health care, no maternity leave, no affordable housing, school violence police authorities with too much power and close to zero control and responsibility. Lobbying. America feels like a premium third world. Why aren't millennial having kids? Per second. Why have three kids and no avocado toast, when I can have three avocado toasts and no kids? As a healthcare worker, this is going to be a fucking nightmare. I'm legitimately scared about what ends people will go to without safe options for birth control. 
Our healthcare system is stretched thin as is and emergency medicine is a rubber bad barely holding it together. I don't like the implications of how this can potentially break something so damn fragile, especially after the fallout of the COVID pandemic. Our current government does not believe healthcare is a right. The older I get, the more I find out that friends have had abortions. And they are for heartbreaking reasons. Yes, they are way more common than people think. Nobody enjoys talking about their abortions, but us having gone through dilation and eviction because the fetus was dead made us much more aware. Set back the entire country 50 years plus for the worst of reasons. And more to come. It's a real fucking shame is what it is.